for this project, I'm using Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick Super Bulky Number no. Six Yarn, and the color is granite. And we're not gonna use the whole skin. We just use uh, almost half of that. And knitting needle size US 13 9 millimeters. I'm using a uh, circular needle. You can use any kind of needle you have a uh, straight needle, circular needle, or double pointed needle. It doesn't matter. We will work in flat and then we seam it together when we have our desired length. And you also need cable needle, but you can use any needle you have, doesn't have to be cable needle. You can use straight needle, double pointed needle, or even crochet hook because we're just gonna uh, carry the stitches into that needle. And then scissors and your needle. For this headband, I also have free written pattern is available on my website i will put the link in description below you can click on that link it'll take you to my website and you get the pattern <laughs> this headband very fast to make because we used super bulky yarn and then uh, pretty easy too not that difficult this is six row repeat row 1 to row 6 and then row 1 to row 6 <laughs> and we will work in flat and when we have our desired length we're gonna seam it together it's very stretchy very nice and comfortable alright so let's get started so first I'm gonna make slip knot and I'm gonna use long tail cast on so I make sure I have enough tail to make a uh, long tail cast on before I make slip knot and I make slip knot and insert my needle into that loop if you don't know how to make long tail cast on and don't know how to knit don't know how to purl and don't know how to bite off I have all video tutorial for that I will put the link in description below you can use any kinds of cast on you like I gonna cast on 14 stitches the stitch on my needle right now is count as one stitch. So this is two, three, four, five. Just keep casting on till you have 14 stitches. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I have 14 stitches cast on and then I'm gonna turn. So this row I just gonna knit all stitches on my needle. This is gonna be just the set up row, okay? Not the row one yet. I like to hold my yarn on the left side, left hand. Okay. I insert my needle into the front loop and pick up the stitch and then drop the stitch this is knit and knit the next stitch do the same I'm just gonna keep knitting into each stitch okay so keep doing that till you come to the end Okay, when you need all the stitches, this is look like, and then you're gonna turn. So I forget to tell you, uh, the set up row is the right side. Okay, this is row one. Row one is the wrong side. I'm gonna knit first four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And then I'm going to purl next six stitches. So when you're purling, you bring the yarn in the front like so. And then insert my needle into that stitch. And then purl. One, 
two, three, four, five, and six, and then knit uh, last four stitches. The yarn on the back because we knit. Okay, the end of row one, and then you turn row two. You're gonna knit all stitches. So do the same, insert the needle into the first front loop and pick up the stitch and drop the stitch. Just keep knitting into each stitch, okay? Okay, now when you come to the end of row two, you're gonna turn, and row three, we're gonna repeat row one, which is knit four, purl six, and knit four. Okay, we're gonna knit the first four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna purl next six stitches. When you're purling, yarn all the way on the front, like so, and then purl. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're gonna knit the last four stitches. Okay, this just look like and then I gonna turn and row four repeat row two which is knit or stitches. Okay, and then I gonna turn and row five, repeat row one, which is knit four, purl six, and knit four. So I'm gonna knit the first four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna purl next six stitches, purling the yarn all the way on the front. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then knit the last four stitches. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn. Now row six, this row we're gonna do the cable uh, stitch, okay? So you will need the extra uh, needle. <laughs> I have cable needle here. Any kind of needle will work, okay? I'm gonna knit the first four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And next, I'm gonna transfer three stitches on my left knitting needle into my cable needle. So, I insert my cable needle pearwise and transfer three stitches. And then I bring on the front, okay? After you uh, take that three stitches up, you're gonna bring into the front and then knit the next 
three stitches on your knitting needle. Okay, I'm gonna knit next three stitches here. One, two, and three. And next, I'm going to return the three stitches on my cable needle back into the left uh, knitting needle. Okay, I'm gonna return to this needle. You can knitting uh, from cable needle as well, but I think it's difficult to see on camera. I'm just gonna return it into my left needle. Return one. Return two, return three, and then I gonna knit three stitches that I just return it. One, two, and three, and then see it's kind of start uh, start to twist, but you can see that much. And I'm just gonna knit the last four stitches. Okay, that's what it looks like. Like I said, this is six row repeat. Row one to row six. Pretty easy, right? <laughs> and then uh, row seven. To row 12, we're gonna repeat row 1 to row 6 again. So it's like 1 to 6, and then 1 to 6, and then 1 to 6. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you one more row. So now we're gonna repeat row 1, which is knit 4 per 6 and knit 4. Okay, this is row 7. Repeat row 1 again. So I'm gonna knit the first 4 stitches. One, two, three, and four. And then purl next six stitches. Bring the yarn in the front and purl. One, two, three, four, five, and Six and knit next four stitches, the last four stitches. Okay, so see, pretty easy, right? <laughs> okay, and then next row eight, you're gonna repeat row two, row nine, you're gonna repeat row three, row ten. Repeat row 4, row 11, repeat row 5, and row 12, repeat row 6. It's kind of like 1, 2, 6, and then start 1, 2, 6 again. Okay? But um, uh, the row, uh, row 12, we're going to do exactly the same as row 6, which is the cable, cable row. And I will meet you guys in row 12, and I will show you guys again. Now I have 11 rows, that's what it look like. You can see it start to twist and you can see it more. And for row 12, it's gonna be the cable row and I will show you again, okay? We do exactly the same, but I just wanna show you guys again. <laughs> and I'm gonna knit the first four stitches. One, two, three, and four. We repeat row six right now. And then bring your cable needle and transfer three stitches from your left knitting needle into the cable needle here. So one, two, and three. And then bring into the front and then knit the next three stitches in your knitting needle. One, two, 
and three and then I'm gonna transfer the three stitches on my cable needle back into the left knitting needle here And then we're gonna knit the three stitches we just uh, transfer it basically we just knit all stitches on the left needle okay I'm just gonna knit all stitches Okay, see this what it looks like, it's very beautiful and very easy pattern as well. Okay, so next you're just going to keep repeat row 1 to 6, row 1 to 6 over and over. And now I have 12 row, right? I'm just going to keep repeat row 1 to 6, row 1 to 6 till I have... Uh, now I repeat or oh, 54 rows okay I can now make total of nine repeat or oh, 54 rows <laughs> and I will meet you guys back in and we will uh, bite off together okay okay now I have 54 rows or oh, nine repeat nine time repeat that's what it looks like it's pretty long <laughs> So I can fold it in half so you can see better. See, that's what it looks like. Very beautiful. I love this headband. Okay, so I end up with um, the row 54. The row 54, this is the uh, cable rows. And I finish with that row. And next, we're going to bite off. So remember, uh, we this row, the wrong side, is supposed to be knit 4, purl 6, and knit 4. And I'm going to bite off by knitting 4, purling 6, and knitting 4. So just keep on watching video. Maybe I'm not mixing. <laughs> so I'm going to knit the first two stitches. Okay. And bring the first stitch over the second stitch here okay make sure you don't bite off too tight and then I'm gonna knit the next stitch and bring the first stitch over the second stitch and then I'm gonna knit the next stitch and bring the first stitch over the second stitch and now I gonna do purling by off next six stitches okay I bring the yarn into the front and purl the next stitch and bring the first stitch over the second stitch and then purl next stitch And bring the first stitch over the second stitch and I'm gonna purl next stitch and bring the first stitch over the second stitch I'm just gonna keep doing this till I have four stitches left on my left needle Okay, when I have four stitches left on my left needle, I'm just gonna knit. So yarn in the back and then knit 
and then bring the first stitch over the second stitch and then knit the next stitch oops sorry and bring the first stitch over the second stitch and knit the next stitch bring the first stitch over the second stitch and then knit the last stitch and bring the first stitch over the second stitch okay that's what it look like and now we're done and I'm gonna cut the yarn I leave the tail uh, just for enough to sew the uh, headband together I just leave about 10 12 inches I always give myself extra and then I just pull up a loop like so and then we gonna start sewing See this does look like we're gonna sew this part together and I bring my yarn needle here Oops. we're gonna sew into the wrong side let me turn my wrong side here okay now I'm in the wrong side and we're gonna start sewing so I just gonna sewing normal <laughs> you can use any method you like okay I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch of this side and then pull it up and then go into next stitch Just keep watching video. I just sew back and forth. And then insert into next stitch. And insert into next stitch on that side as well. Go into next stitch and then go into next stitch. Okay, so you just keep sewing this till you come to the end and I will meet you guys there. Now I come to the end, I'm just going to sew the last stitch here. The edge of each side to close up the hole here. Okay, I just insert the very end here of both sides. Bring it up and make sure the right side it's nice and clean so I like that perfect and I'm just gonna hide my tail I just like to make sure nice and clean and I'm just gonna tie one knot here just to make sure my uh, headband is secure <laughs> Tie one knot and then keep hiding the tail. Okay, make sure it's secure and then you just trim the tail. And then on the other side is leave a gap here I just gonna um, use the short tail here to close up that gap I bring into this stitch fairly in here okay really nice and it's just gonna weaving the end high my tail just gonna tie one knot here and keep uh, hiding my tail <laughs> Okay. 
make sure it's secure and then you just need to trim your tail and you're done pretty easy I'm gonna turn my right side out that's what it look like really fun and very fast project to work on I'll show you the side that we just seen right here still look pretty clean right pretty nice congratulations <laughs> I hope you enjoy making this project if you do don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching I will see you next video bye bye